Hello friends, this is Kurt Berglund, and I'm back with my Monday baseball book review, and I know what you're going to say. <laughs> you're going to say to me, Kurt, you've lost your mind. You've gone insane. Well, that is entirely possible, but I am here today to talk about this book, Cosell by Cosell. It is a 1973 publication, I'm not kidding, by Playboy Press. I said Playboy Press. Is anybody out there? <sighs> okay, so I picked this up after reading an excerpt from Al Michaels' book, Al Michaels wrote a book? Al Michaels read a book? So, he wrote about Howard, and he said some not very nice things about him, and his level of involvement and preparation in 1980s playoff baseball for ABC Sports. Okay, great, Al, God bless you. But a couple of things. One, if you pick this book up and you can do it for less than $5 used, he writes about baseball, he writes about Ali, he writes about football, he writes about Monday Night Football. The book is nearly 400 pages. There are a few pages of pictures in it. It is not a baseball book in the baseball sense, but I'm challenging you to read this because... In my mind, and maybe you're like me... Cosell was this opinionated and, I don't know, flamboyant and sometimes a jerk, sometimes a really good interviewer, and often, yeah, okay, Al, unprepared, I'll buy that. But by today's standards, I'm not sure that he would even get noticed. Um, I'm thinking about the clowns on ESPN. I said it, clowns on ESPN, who modeled themselves, I guess, after this guy. They're doing it clearly for money. And don't get me wrong, I think Howard was doing a lot of what he did for money, too. He cashed all the checks, I'm quite certain. However, he's also doing it for his own ego, reason number two. But you can't deny that the guy did things for baseball. The level of visibility that he had and the fact that he did draw viewers everywhere he went doesn't negate his lack of preparation, doesn't negate his lack of understanding of the game of baseball at all, in my view. And some of the things he writes about in here, as if they are gospel truth about baseball, are kind of funny. They're so far off. On the other hand, he did understand boxing, and there's some pretty good boxing content in here. He did sort of understand football, and he did sort of understand the biggest people in the game uh, in all the sports in the 70s. And that's his frame of, co of reference here. That's the context. So if you're looking for something a little different, cheap for sure, and I think that will definitely hold your interest, uh, and I think you might be surprised at how tame he looks from 2021, 
Uh, this might be an interesting read for you. Cosell by Cosell. I don't think much of this is ghostwritten. I think he wrote most of it. Uh, or at least it's in his voice. Um, under four bucks, under five bucks typically, you can get it under four plus your shipping cost. It's almost free and it's almost 400 pages of pretty interesting stuff, of stuff that was going on uh, in the late 60s and early 70s, early to mid 70s. If you remember that time and you're interested, give this a look. Thanks for joining me. I'm Kurt Berglund. Be back next Monday with another review of a book related to baseball. Could be fiction, could be nonfiction. Something to challenge you to look at. Could be an old book, could be a new book. Thanks for joining me. Hope you have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.